If you want to improve your squat, then the high bar barbell box squat is a great place to start. And in this video, we're going to teach you exactly how to do it correctly so that you can get a deeper squat, stronger, and get over those aches and pains. We are the fitness app that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance and not just body image. High bar barbell back squat. The high bar position creates more demand on the quadriceps as it changes the center of gravity in such a way that causes you to sit more upright. This also allows a much deeper range of motion than the low bar position. However, a deeper range of motion can be problematic as it can flare up old knee issues. This is why we start with the box. To set up, hold the barbell with a thumbless grip. The bar can be loosely gripped by the hand, meaning that it won't necessarily fit firmly in the palm, though you will clench your fingers tightly. The hands should be as close to your body as possible. The closer your hands are to your shoulders, the more flexibility is required. There isn't any problem with having your hands further apart if that's the limit of your flexibility, but if you can bring your hands closer together, do so. It will create a more rigid upper body, which is useful when squatting. The low bar barbell position sits several inches lower on the back than the high bar position. So the high bar position sits on your upper trapezius, whereas for this progression, the low bar position, the bar will actually be sitting on your posterior deltoid, several inches lower than the high bar position. Lift your elbows up and make a motion with your wrist like you are decelerating on a motorbike. This will bring your wrist in line with your forearms and whilst keeping your elbows high, you create a solid platform for the barbell to sit on. Before attempting the high bar barbell box squat, it's a good idea to get an unloaded barbell or a dowel rod on your shoulders and sit down on the box. Slowly shift your weight to your feet, getting ready to stand up. At the moment you feel your weight shift from your butt to your feet, stop and take note. This is the end range for the bottom of the high bar barbell box squat. Do a few reps with this unloaded bar or dowel rod to understand the end range. Hopefully you can go a little bit deeper and use a lower box than you did in the low bar barbell box squat so you increase your range of motion. To perform the squat, set up under the bar as per the previous setup cues. Take a deep breath and stand up as you hold your breath. Take three small steps backward. The first foot steps back so the toes line up with the heel of the other foot. The second foot steps back the same distance so the toes line up with the heel and the third step brings the other foot in line ready for the squat. It is important to note that whenever you lift weights you hold your breath with your lungs full all the way through each rep. If you need to breathe you only take a breath at the top of the movement whilst you are paused and you breathe out only a small amount of your lung capacity before breathing in all the way again and holding your breath for the entire rep all the way down and back up again. We do this because breathing out causes the body to relax, reducing strength potential. When you squat, you want your body tense and strong. Mastering this breathing technique is critical for maximal strength development in all weightlifting movements. The three cues to think of when performing the high bar barbell box squat are chest up and elbows up, keep the knees out, be intentional with end ranges. Pay attention with the way you rack and unrack the bar. A major problem that a lot of people have when they're squatting is that they don't give the racking and unracking of the bar the attention it deserves, getting a little bit sloppy, and this is where injuries can occur. Pay close attention to the unracking cues. Take a deep breath, and as you stand up to unrack the bar, you treat that like a rep. Do the same when you re-rack the bar after your set. We use this in the UMS because it's an excellent progression for beginners. What a lot of people struggle with when they're uh, starting out with barbell back squatting is just getting the depth, getting the range of motion and feeling safe when they do it. A lot of people have knee pains, lower back pains, a lot of different reasons that would stop them from squatting deep. And if you squat too deep when you do have any of these issues, it can be problematic and you know, cause your, your pain and issues that you've been suffering in your body to get worse and to flare up. So by using a box, you can control the depth that you want to go. So we've um, the, the depth that we're using here is not set in stone. You can choose a depth that works well for you, but to make sure that you hit that depth on every single rep and every single set. And that's something that you can control as you improve. So you can lower the box a little bit as you get better. Now we do box squatting or any kind of squatting in the UMS once a week. And we do five sets. Five sets is a really good place to start. You can start on higher reps if you're newer to squats, so you're doing a lower weight and doing like that 12 to 15 rep range. If you're a little bit more experienced, you can do the 10 to 12 rep range. 
And if you're more experienced than that, if you're somebody that's got a lot of experience squatting and lifting weights, you can go a little bit lower. You always go, um, when you go up in weight, you do lower reps. And usually that's for people that are a little bit more experienced. Let us know how you go and hit us up with any questions that you have. Stop. If you've made it this far, then you really need to hear this. Have you ever noticed how two people with similar intellect and goals can take the same information and produce completely different results? How does that work? Let's think about it. Does it come down to luck, experience, timing? Truth is, it's none of the above. But it has to do with why the world's smartest people aren't necessarily the most successful. But yet, some people seem to achieve success no matter what. The majority don't because we're information junkies but lack the ability to implement. We go from one book to the next, course after course, YouTube video after YouTube video, hoping the next piece of content will hold the solution. But the difference between success and mediocrity is implementation, not education. Otherwise, education would guarantee success. But the hard reality is that it doesn't because there's not a book, a blueprint, a course, seminar, or YouTube video on the planet that does the work for you. Only you have the power to execute. Now, once you arrive at that realization, you just need a proven system that ticks three boxes. Number one, it needs to be efficient enough to meet the demand of your current lifestyle because lifestyle changes are the hardest changes to make. Number two, it must align with your personal needs and goals because following the wrong map will lead you to the wrong destination every single time. And number three, it should be science backed with a proven track record because time is your most valuable asset and time wasted will not be returned. If you've made it this far, it's time to stop learning and start working. I've spent my adult life creating a system that ticks all three of these boxes for people who wanna get strong, flexible, and fit. Now, if that's you, then my Unity Gym app is your system. Start doing more of what you love, pain-free, so you can perform like an athlete. Don't click the next video. Take action with something that will transform your life. Click the link here and be coached by me and my team for less than $2 a day with my Unity Gym app. I look forward to meeting you inside.